Hey, so today I wanted to talk about Dolby Stereo or LTRT audio files. Dolby Stereo is actually a bit of an older term. It really referred to this process when we used it for film. And now uh, it really just designates a file that's been encoded with this Dolby surround technology where using phase, they can encode the surround information into that file and it can then be decoded back into a simpler version of surround that we call LCRS. So LTRT designates that the file has been encoded and can be decoded back into a simpler version of surround. So this is only relevant for 5.1 mix projects where you then need to deliver stereo elements like stereo full mix and stereo stems. So I think it's good to look at a little bit of the history of how we got these LTRT files in the first place. Dolby originally created Dolby Stereo, which is the LTRT format, because they wanted to put surround sound onto a stereo optical track of a film print. So for the longest time, 35 millimeter film was the way that we showed movies in movie theaters. And 35 millimeter only has a stereo optical soundtrack as part of the film. So later they came up with a process where they could encode the sound into digital and put full 5.1 by putting basically a strip of data onto the film print that could then be read by a special reader. But if you wanted to play the film straight up without having to go through that fancier process, which by the way we call Dolby Digital, then you could take a 5.1 mix, encode it into a stereo LTRT file put it on the optical soundtrack of the film print, and when it played back in a theater through a Dolby decoder, it would decode to the simpler version of surround, which is left, center, right, surround is a mono file, and then it would derive bass from the front channels and put it in the subwoofer. So it's a pretty cool format, and one of the things that it does really well is it makes sure that mono material, like dialogue, comes out of the center speaker. So it assigns mono to the center speaker, it can assign stereo left and right, and it can take surround and put it more or less in the back. When I say more or less, it's not as discreet as a full 5.1 mix, where everything goes exactly in the speaker channel that it was designed for. LCRS is a little more of like a, a blurred effect of surround, but it works, and it's definitely better than just a straight stereo mix if you're playing back in a theater. So that's why they originally created it. Now that's pretty much gone away now. Well, it certainly has gone away now that we're not playing film prints, and really everything is shown on DCP, Digital Cinema Packages, which is a hard drive with the files that's played back in the theater. Very few theaters play film prints at all anymore. There are some, but not that many. So we've pretty much done away with it for film. I still think making LTRT files as the fold down of the 5.1 elements can still be really useful because sound bars can often decode them, home theater receivers can decode them, and actually I learned recently that the new MacBook Pros have audio decoding chips slash software that can decode LTRTs and actually create surround coming out of the two speakers of the MacBook Pro. So the good thing about an LTRT is it plays perfectly well as a stereo file. So if you play it back out of left right speakers, it sounds perfectly good as a stereo mix down to the 5.1. But if you play it through something, or some path where it sees an appropriate Dolby decoding chip slash software, you will get a version of surround and it does even create a faux subwoofer track, as I said, by filtering the bass and putting it into the sub. So it's pretty cool. It's not as good as 5.1, but it's better than stereo. And if you can get the plugin and make LTRT files, there's really no harm in having that as an option to just a plain stereo fold down of the 5.1. Most companies and delivery specs will accept a straight stereo fold down of your 5.1 mix and your 5.1 stems. So you don't have to make an LTRT. And when you make a straight stereo fold down, it's usually 
or sometimes denoted as a left L-O, right R-O, so L-O-R-O. -O. So that basically means left output, right output, and you know that that's a straight stereo fold down. It's not encoded with surround information, which you would see if it were LTRT. So that's the main difference. You might see L-O-R-O, -O, but you might see LTRT. Again, I like to make LTRTs as the main stereo mix down of the 5.1 because some people will get to hear that in surround, which is great. And I don't think there's any downside to how it mixes it down. Now, just to make things extra complicated, again, not many people call it Dolby Stereo anymore. Now you do see LTRT, but it's also called Dolby ProLogic. And then they came out with Dolby ProLogic 2. So you might see this, you sometimes even see Dolby ProLogic as one of the um, decoding features of like a home theater receiver, but Dolby ProLogic 2 is the newest and latest version of the LTRT format for encoding and decoding. So when I make my files, I make them as Dolby ProLogic 2. So let's have a look at the plugin and how we create these files these days. So what happened is Dolby licensed its technology to a company called Nayrink, and Nayrink has made a plugin called Soundcode LTRT Tools. I believe that's the only plugin out there that has licensed the Dolby technology and that can now make these Dolby LTRT files. So here's the plugin. Again, Nayrink's the company, Soundcode LTRT Tools. And again, I like to choose this Dolby ProLogic 2 option. Uh, there are some other options, but this is the most recent and I think is, you know, gives you the best uh, LFE channel to work with. So I would choose Dolby Pro Logic 2. Then I just leave these settings as is. They work fine. I do like to set the limiter for minus 2. As I've talked about in other videos, usually you have to limit your files to minus 2 dB true peak. So you might as well put minus 2 in the limiter here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You basically can either put this on a 5.1 track or bust the 5.1 to another 5.1 track, put this on that track. It turns the output of that track into stereo and then you can bounce or record your LTRT from that stereo track. You really don't have to make LTRT files in most cases these days but you will see them on delivery specifications and I still make them as the main fold down of my 5.1 mixes on every project. I really don't see the drawback. They play perfectly well as a stereo file and if you do play them in a case where they see a decoder, then you actually can listen in surround, which is great. So I think it's a very useful format still. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, like, comment, and subscribe and See you on the next one.